biggest thing for me is just I just work, be the hardest worker in the room, and my biggest driver is to grow in some aspect out of my comfort zone, whether that's on the field, off the field, spiritually, just try and grow and get out of my comfort zone every day. This is kind of like that feeling of everything coming together. DJ Taylor smashes a shot through and in. That's what we talk about, baby. It is now my great privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. DJ Taylor. Growing up, I just fell in love with the game as soon as I touched the soccer ball. I think that's how the passion started, and then from there, just kept playing. And my parents eventually learned it too as well, which is really cool. It was a first for them, you know, taking me to training. My hope was to play overseas, like it has been now, um, at a high level. And uh, luckily I was able to do that early with Spain. And I think that's what was my main determining factor when I decided to reject UNC, was that I knew deep down that my goal was to at least, you know, try and make a shot out there. I came back from Spain, it was like halfway through the season with the uh, Carolina Railhawks in NASL. Was on little money, you know. I was also studying at a community college uh, and working as a waiter. This is a menacing attack. Taylor lets it go. Those last two seasons, off season, I always would be on the radar for MLS teams, but nothing ever really solidified. And then, you know, luckily that last year, Minnesota reached out and was able to make a, a deal. It was just very fulfilling for me and for my my family, especially my mom, because she knows how long, how far we've come from her raising me by herself and us just growing together through those tough moments. Just look at the fullbacks in this situation here with Taylor, being able to get them a bit deeper, to push them on. Here's DJ Taylor across goal. No! DJ Taylor smashes a shot through and in! Uh, it's, got, it's come a long way in the family now because now my, my little brother plays it. You know, he's 11 years old, so uh, I'm just excited to see him play as well and keep it, keep it going. He's my heart, I say it all the time. He has a lot of meaning for me because my mom was very sick when she had me. So she always told me, like, I would never have another sibling uh, growing up for a long time. And then, you know, one day when I was like 14, like, that's when my mom told me, like, hey, you're actually going to have a, a little brother. Um, I don't know if he knows it yet, you know, I mean, he's not old enough to understand how much uh, I really love him, but um, he was my best man in ring bear in my wedding this past off season, uh, and he did a great job, didn't drop the rings or anything, but, you know, he, he kind of stole the show on the dance floor, you know, wearing his suit, looking really cool. Um, yeah, he's amazing. Her name is Mercedes. She pushes me to be the best version of myself every day. And for me to connect with her spiritually too as well is, is something I never felt before. From day one, it's like, you're my puzzle piece because we just connect really good. So I'm hoping that we can show that unconditional love that everyone should have.